Log into your computer with this secure ID card. Let's check this out. Dave Taylor here and I'm looking at this. This is the GoTrust iDEM card. It's actually really cool. This is a public key cryptography card, which means that it looks like just a regular credit card, but there's all sorts of smarts inside. And it uses public and private keys to do a handshake for security. Now, from a security perspective, this works with what's known as FIDO, which is fast ID online. So it's FIDO2 and FIDO2U2F. And that means that it works with a whole lot of services. And not only that, but you can use it for logging in, not just for like second factor authentication. All of this is really good. But it supports, let's see, it works with ISO 7816 smart card ecosystems. It is FIPS 140-2 level three certified. And it also works with PIV, PKI, and other physical access systems. So that means, for example, if you work at a federal office, they use PIV systems, smart cards, for all access control for all facilities. So you can actually download some Java card apps onto this, and you could also use this to verify that you have access to this top secret facility, right? Cool, all in this card. Now, in terms of a little more mundane level, I can use this for things like logging into Windows through Windows Hello. I can log into my Mac, and I'm gonna show you that in just a second. You can use this to log into Android or iOS devices, pretty handy. And any FIDO enabled service. And again, FIDO is not the dog. <laughs> FIDO is actually Fast ID Online. It's a whole protocol and system, super secure stuff, really pretty cool, actually. Um, and services that support that include Google, Dropbox, Facebook, Box, Microsoft. There's a lot of things you can use this for. Pretty handy, right? And if you are already in a facility where you have an ID badge, you can easily slip this into that pocket and it'll still be close enough because it uses what they know, call um, BLE, Bluetooth Low Energy. And it also works with NFC. So if you have an Android phone that supports near field communication, you can use that and have this actually help log you into that device. Cool. Now, all well and good, let me give you a demo. So here I am, my Mac is not logged in. And then all I'm gonna do is on the identity card, I'm gonna push the edge to wake it up. And there's a little blue light that comes on. And then that should log me in here and I'm logged in. How cool is that, right? So no worries about super complicated passwords. No worries about forgetting passwords. No worries about key sniffers. No worries about cameras watching you typing in. All of that is sidestepped by having a secure ID card. So pretty handy. Now, this is actually powered by a battery. And again, you look at this and you're like, how the heck do they squeeze all that into this card? It's kind of magic, but it does require charging. So this comes with a charger. How about that? So this is a um, secure ID card charger. You just simply slip the card in, plug this into whatever you need. Generally, it takes about two hours for a full charge and that charge, it will now work for 600 uses or it'll be on standby for 120 days. So basically I would say is if that the very first day of every month, you plug it in and charge it while you're having lunch, you'll never ever have to think about it again. So really cool. And again, what makes this really interesting is that you don't need to have really complicated passwords because you have this instead. And this doesn't just store a password or anything like this. Like I said, this is a public key cryptography system. It's basically a computer that's on a credit card. <laughs> so what happens is that the system challenges the card and the card generates a response. And that's different every single time you use it. So yes, if someone gets this, then they have access. But think about this, if you're using a typed password, there's a lot more ways someone can actually snag that password or trick you out of it. In fact, over 50% of Fortune 1000 companies say they've had issues with people giving up passwords to secure areas, which then means that the computer systems can be violated or data stolen or all sorts of bad things. With something like this, if you know you've lost your card, you just let IT know or you go yourself and you just disable it and now it doesn't work at all. And someone just has basically a really funky looking piece of plastic.
So, really cool, very modern, very like sort of James Bond sort of thing, you know, a little bit maybe less exciting than a retina scan, but less scary than a retina scan. If you've seen all the James Bond movies, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, really not much else to talk about other than the price, and this is actually quite affordable if you really want to ratchet up the security at your facility or with your services, right? You could use this for all sorts of ways to ensure that your remote workers are really who they say they are and that they really should have access to all of this data and information. It's pretty darn important. But before we get to the price, I'm gonna ask if you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate when you do that. It's one button, just click that button and subscribe. Awesome. Now, okay, this is the GoTrust IDEM card and it is $60 at amazon.com and it's a pretty interesting device. If nothing else, it might be worth getting just so you can experiment and try out different ways you can use this and different ways this little tiny credit card can help you stay secure. And with that, I think I am gonna go ahead and charge it and I'm gonna log back in, which means I'll catch you in my next video.